Hello, I'm J.S. Kim, President and Founder of Smart Knowledge U. If there is a silver lining to this crisis today, it is the fact that most investment scams of the past couple of decades have now been exposed, and the search to find competent, honest investment guidance today has truly become easier. The dirty secret of Wall Street and many commercial investment firms was that their practice to fill frontline personnel was never about finding the most talented people that truly understood how to analyze complex macroeconomic trends and capital markets. Instead, many firms sought to use highly sophisticated psychological profiling techniques that would enable them to identify the best candidates with top salesmanship skills. Ironically, by bombarding us with endless TV and magazine advertisements that emphasize messages of integrity and operational longevity, many of these investment firms were able to operate their scams far longer than even the infamous $50 billion Bernard Madoff Ponzi scheme. However, for the firms that have been handpicked by world governments and by central banks to survive this crisis today, I can assure you that they will continue to implement the same fraudulent scams. In the book, Fiasco, an expose of the rampant greed and immoral behavior on Wall Street, author Frank Partnoy described an interview process regarding a highly sought after position within Morgan Stanley's asset management group. A top candidate indicated that he was asked, what are the most important qualities a salesman can have? And note that he used the word salesman, not an asset manager, nor an investment professional. This candidate stated he clinched the job by answering, without a doubt, integrity. We are selling our trust. Despite firms that have plundered their clients' accounts for their own benefit for decades and continue even today to deceive their clients about the true state of the global economy, it is my intent to ensure that you do not fall victim to these same scams. One of the biggest scams of all time is out of diversification. Many different studies have proven this over the years, the most famous, perhaps, of all being a Wall Street Journal study in which journal staffers were asked to select a portfolio merely by flinging darts at a stock chart pasted to a board. In 1988, the Wall Street Journal posted the results of 100 of these dart-throwing experiments. When compared to the passive Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, investment professionals only outperformed the dart throwers 51% of the time about the exact percentage you would expect from absolute randomness. In another infamous study, a researcher painted a monkey's feet and had the monkey hop around on the stock table. Again, when the monkey's portfolio was compared against that of top investment profession professionals utilizing a diversification strategy, the monkey performed equally, equally as well. Today, investment professionals all over the world still primarily have one job, and that is to convince their clients and prospects to give their firm their hard-earned money. Because of the emphasis on selling, many investment firms all over the world today will spend about 95% of their training programs on sales strategies and about 5% on investment strategies. Thus, even if you are an individual with zero training in investment, zero education in investment, you still are likely to be equally as qualified as many of the frontline personnel for many commercial investment firms today. Due to this emphasis on selling and reliance on diversification strategy that is designed to cover up the inadequacies of investment firm employees, if you have turned your money over to commercial investment firm today, you are likely to own the very same components of the major stock market index in your country. Even if you own international stocks, the likelihood is the same for the same uh, scenario to materialize. You are likely to own the exact same components of the major stock market indexes and these foreign markets as well. So this is a scam of diversification. It is a pure sales strategy invented by the investment industry to allow firms to charge clients significant management fees for nothing more than the honor of owning the same components of every major stock market index in the world. Yet, during poor markets, such as the bear markets we've experienced over the past couple of years, and which will continue into future years, money managers will still earn, or have earned, hundreds of millions of dollars at the same time they have lost billions of dollars in their clients' accounts. The strengths of salesmen masquerading as an investment professional during bull markets become glaring weaknesses that are exposed during bear markets. 
And that is why separating the wheat from the chaff during crisis is infinitely easier. In fact, I doubt that anyone can find one investment professional anywhere in the world that has significantly outperformed domestic or global market indexes through the use of a diversification strategy. Thus, it is imperative that every intelligent investor take two simple steps. One, check a firm's online track record, review their blogs, review their publicly posted information. If they do not have a publicly posted track record, there likely is a very good reason for this omission. Many investment firms today also employ the horrendous strategy of diversification to their analysts. What I mean by that is this. If oil is presently trading at $50 a barrel, some investment firms will employ two oil experts. One that predicts oil will soar to $100 a barrel, another that predicts oil will plunge to $30 a barrel. Thus, no matter what happens in the future, they can always claim they were correct. However, discovering such fraudulent business practices today, given information access, should be fairly easy. And number two, check an investment firm's emails. In hindsight, checking investment firm's predictions and discovering whether they are poor or whether they are phenomenal should be easy. So in conclusion, seek combined expert wealth management with a superior track record. Today, there really is no excuse for attempting to create wealth during a dangerous, volatile investment environment by using poor diversification strategies that have been proven to be no more successful than a hopping monkey or dart throwing. To this end, please don't forget to check out our featured articles on this page.